What is up everyone, Old Will Scrub here. We're back with another book toolkit video. Uh, for this match, we're going to be on Coliseum 2. And the book we're going to be using is Magma. This book is cultofcentral.com's very own Andy Man. This is, this is his baby, this is his pride and joy. Magma is a fire and earth book. Hey, awesome pig. How's it going? You're going to know that there's not a lot of creatures in here, but the creatures that are in this book are incredibly powerful. Most of the cards that are in here are spell cards, mostly trying to keep this machine running. This book can do well on medium-sized maps. Um, Coliseum 2, for instance. Um, Alcyon, Dinar Mountains, uh, Phoenixion. Actually, Phoenixion, this thing would probably be even better because that is the uh, fire map. There's more fire land. So let us look at this book. You have four Barbarians. The Barbarians are 50 strength, 40 HP creatures with immediate. And as you remember, immediate means you can immediately do territory abilities and change the uh, land type from, let's say, multi to any one of the, the colors or from neutral to any one of the colors. You can also move Barbarian. And that's important for one of two things. If you land before or after a fire land and you need a fire land, you can just put him down anywhere and move him to the next land. Toki! Uh, it's an immediate creature, again, like Barbarian, except it has an ability. Uh, for zero, releases target territory from user's control and reverts it to magic. I've never actually really used him, so I'm not sure how to fully utilize him. But, for instance, if you had a creature that is really close to dying, and it's on a big land, and can't get to it, you could release the land for mana, so your opponent couldn't get the land, and you get your mana back. Kuya. Uh, her immediate territory is she can transform any territory in user's possession to an earth land. This book heavily needs fire and earth land. And having a creature that can instantly change it at the cost of 80, which is basically uh, influence. You know, whichever one you have the most of, influence will change any land to that type. Also, uh, Force Leap, which moves it, and I don't remember the Force card that changes any land to Forest. Next creature you have is Crimson Vine. It's a 30-50 creature. Its attack bonus is HP plus damage dealt to the opponent. One thing you need to know about dual creatures is if I am not mistaken, they count as obviously they're, they're fire and green. Okay, so it's fire and earth. But if I'm not mistaken, they count as at the same time, so they'll technically count as two. So stuff like magma armor that you're gonna see, you know, that's for territories. Then you have we're gonna look at magma armor in a moment. Actually, let's go to it. Magma armor is strength equals number of fire creatures in play and HP equals number of Earth creatures in play. Multi-element creatures like Jack-o'-lantern or Crimson Vine count as both for that card. So if, you, if all you had were two Crimson Vines in play, one Magma Armor is going to count two fire and two green. Because they, they count double. Here we get Jack-o'-lantern. 
Jack-o'-lantern attacks last, and its bonus is it steals mana from your opponent based on whatever your HP is remaining times two. If you have this set up with a lot of territory under your control and use magma armor, you're going to be stealing a lot of mana. Mana. Okay, it's a 1060 creature, so... You're looking at just on fire or earth, just on level one, the 70 HP creature in battle. They better be able to take it out, otherwise you're going to be not only getting whatever your toll fee is, but you're also going to be stealing mana from them. Magma armor is, or magma avatar is like magma armor on steroids, especially with it combined. In battle, its strength and HP equals number of fire and earth lands owned by user times 15. In a very short amount of time, Magma Avatar becomes a serious threat to anybody. You know, if you have just two in play... Oh, it's connected from Xbox Live. I didn't even know I was signed in, but if you have two in play, if you have two lands, you're looking at, in battle, it's a 60-60 creature. Or, excuse me, um, 30. Okay. That's easy to get. Four lands, you're looking at 60-60. So on, so, I mean, it, it, it packs a punch pretty quickly. So that's it for the creatures. Like I said, there's not a lot, but what they do is really important. Let's look at items. There's really only two. There's Fire Shield, which neutralizes fire attacks. Well, it, it neutralizes fire creatures attacking you, and it neutralizes all non-scroll attack damage when equipped by a fire creature. All of these are fire creatures except for her. So, put... Put it on Magma Avatar, and he's safe. Why would you use it? it especially if your HP so high, is there's some cards with uh, instant death, or there's cards like Cockatrice, which will transform your creature when it attacks it. Even if your HP is ungodly high, you know Cockatrice will turn into a wall of stone. Uh, another one, I think it's Medusa, will turn it into a statue. Fire shields will prevent the at end of turn or end of battle change creature to whatever. Or give it instant death. Or whatever the case may be. This protects from that. Yeah, magma, magma armor, as we saw, is strength equals number of fire creatures in play times 10. And HP equals number of earth creatures in play times 10. So if you have four Earth Creatures in play, one armor will give plus 40 HP. This is obviously isn't just creatures you control, this is creatures in the entire board. So if your opponent plays four Earth Creatures on top of your four, now you're looking at 80 HP just for one armor. So that's it for the items. There's really only six. You don't really need a lot. I, maybe if you wanted to, instead of having Fire Shield, and replace it for two Counter Amulets, or two Gaseous Forms. Uh, gaseous Form is the same as Fire Shield. It neutralizes all non-scroll attack, but it'll neutralize it even for Sakuya. Or you can use Counter Amulet, which is, you know, if they attack for... 120 damage. It just gets reflected. Why do you think I keep doing this? Is because I, the revolt's not here. Now we're gonna look at some spells. Uh, first, we have is backward. Target set removes backward instead of forward upon rolling the die. This can help, especially if your opponent just skip the high level land you can send them back to potentially hit it on the rebound 
or when they have to go forward again, they might hit it again. And I've actually done that. I actually had them land on my stuff. I think it was a level four, um, not with this book. It was a level four, I forgot what it was, but I sent them backwards. And when the next turn after that came, they landed right on it again. It was kind of funny. Next card we have is Banishing Ray. There are a lot of pesky neutral creatures. Armor Dragon is one such of the death abilities. Tax first, it neutralizes um, neutral. That's 30 damage to neutral, but I mean, that thing is 60 60. You know, ones like uh, Colossus are 70 70. You'll also run into some like the Lunatic Hair. This you have to watch out for in a lot of books. Uh, battle ends, swap opponent, strength, and HP value. That can hurt you. Obviously, if you're Magma Avatar, that's not going to do much. But, you know, if it swapped this right now, he would be a 10 HP creature. Yeah, it would. That'd be pretty vulnerable next. Okay, so Vanishing Ray is there for those, those pesky neutral creatures. Uh, next, we have our three crushers. Choose a non-creature card from target enemy scepter's hand and destroy it. And remember, you can only play one spell card per turn, but if a card has double cast, you can use another card after that. And you can use as many double cast cards as you have in your hand. So if you know that they have like a spell card, or if they have like an item card that gives them any type of nasty bonus you want to get rid of, just just get rid of it. Very light. Every round target center gains number of cards in hand times 10 magic. The effect ends when you reach the castle. So if, if you have five cards in your hand for six turns, you're just looking at 300 magic right there. Yep. Okay, so I mean, this this card does come in handy. Thing. You gain own highest level territory level times 100 in magic. So if your highest was a level 3 land, you would gain 300 mana with this. Obviously, 200, you get 200. If level 2, you get 200. 5, you get 500. Um, holy word 2s and 3s. You'll often find that a lot of cards are literally within 2 or 3 moves or spaces from your, your creatures. They will be 1, they will be like 6 away, but you see a lot of 2s and 3s more from what I've seen. Land Drain. Okay, Land Drain is great. Great for going against people that have a lot of stuff. You steal number of target possessed territories times 20 in magic from target enemy scepter. If your enemy has 10 land, you just stole 200 magic. For 20. So if you're struggling and people are putting down more than you can deal with, that's going to hurt them in the end because you could just steal that magic from them. Land Drain against Powdered Eater books? Ooh, again, a lot. Fast Phantasm. It adds Phantasm to all creatures in target area. Phantasm basically protects creatures from abilities. You would have to dispel Phantasm from them. It's kind of like like land protection almost, 
It, but it basically stops spells or territory abilities from dealing damage or curing damage to creatures HP slash MHP under effect by like the phantasm. So you can be doing a lot of damage to their creatures and they can't just, you know, fat body that creature. You have telegnosis, adds enlightenment to your round till the next and adds enlightenment to you until next round and then it recycles the book. Enlightenment basically is like if you landed on a castle or a fort and you can access any one of your, your territories to do anything like raise the land, change the land type, move the creature, you basically do that as soon as you use that. And then you have four Wind of Hopes. Draw two cards. A really great drawing spell, actually. Okay, let us run this book. Again, this book is great on medium length maps. On short maps, not so much because this book uses a lot of mana to get going. Hey, Flim Fox, thank you very much for the host. Let us load. Oh, and these are the uh, books we're going to be looking at in the future. We're going to be looking at Help in Hand, which is a kind of like a support book. Give and take. I'm still trying to figure this book out. It's kind of confusing. And uh, Freshness. This is a really offensive fire type book. It would probably beat magma. Because it can it can drop things really quickly. Oh shit, my voice. Oh, he's gorgeous. Sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. And Hellsight, thank you very much for the follow. The true winner is determined. At least Crimson Vine doesn't need anything, but maybe I can go left. Alright, I'm going to use Wind of Hope and let's see if I can get Wind of Hope. It died of rage. That's yeah, you need to actually go to sleep. Go get some sleep. Oh, sweet, too. We're gonna go on Earth. Because I can put down Crimson Vine. Okay, so I see he has a comet in his hand, which means I need to be careful and think about how I'm gonna raise my land levels. <laughs> it it basically is well we use we use monopoly because the closest thing is actually fortune street for the Wii. There might have been another fortune street before that, but it basically is Magic the Gathering meets Monopoly. Actually, I'm going to crush your comic. Wait, okay. I'm not going to steal anything. And Burby, thanks for the follow? I thought you were. Oh, no. Never mind. I don't care about shrink. Comet's gonna do more damage. Yeah, it's basically Fortune Street, but... 
You may cast a spell again. All right, let's put down you, and now all my requirements are set. And wait. No. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. But yeah, that's basically what this what this game is. This game literally is match together and meets Monopoly. It's a mix of card game and board game. Alright, let's place down the jack o -lantern. So far, we're doing pretty good. Clip. So how's it going, guys? Oh, good, another fire land. Give me. Let's put you. I'm not gonna do anything. Discard a card. Ooh, that creature he got rid of actually does have death. It's your turn. Go get some sleep, Furby and Femme. No. Stopped in enemy territory. Oh, I don't have enough mana. Uh, okay, that's fine. I'll get you back. Aim for the castle. It's your turn. No butts, Missy. Uh, that's not worth putting you down. What are you gonna hit now? Oh, what a surprise. Now it's a 10 HP. It's your turn. Discard a card. Uh we get rid of this. Hmm. Can put something down. Oh wait. You received a reward. But good luck on your you stopped in enemy territory. Phoenix versus Crimson Vine. Okay. You can penetrate. And you're doing damage, so I have to use an armor. Well, the new one is coming on uh, October 3rd for the 3DS. So there is that. Alright, so... What do I take? Alright, I think... I'm gonna put down Barbarian and then move it He is immediate, I can put him on fire. Oh. 
You've stopped in your own territory. It's your turn. I wish I had that card before that thing happened, but okay. 60 HP, that's not a lot, but she is support, so she can use creature as item. Alright. Give everybody Phantasm so they can't change HP anymore. Punks. Aim for the next fort. What to do, what to do. I think I'll level him up to level two. Almost. Discard One more month away. Spirit walk. Hmm, I'm gonna die. I don't have any items to save her. Bye bye! Oh, wait, I do. Is it worth it? I have another one in my hand. Not worth it. I'm actually kind of glad they delayed it because my lazy ass didn't finish the, uh, videos. Cool, cool. So, I can put either one down. Actually, I'm going to put you down so that way you get a boost from the green. I'm not going to do anything else. I'm gonna give myself a couple hundred mana. Follow the guidance of the cards. I'll take another creature, actually. Alright, let's see. Uh, now you have Prismatic Wand. Alright, I'm gonna get rid of Holy War 3 for right now. Draw two cards. Wind of hope. Nice, nice, nice. Get this rid of Holy War 2. Exchange you for one of... I'll exchange you for the Vine. Get rid of you for right now, and we're gonna send you backwards. Backward. So you would—I would have to do 80 damage. Lot of mana to risk it. Not gonna do it. 
ね。More than likely, the reason why it got delayed is Nintendo probably just saw Hypna and went, Nope, that's not gonna fly here. Alright, territories. You're 60, I would have to do a, over 100. Which is easy. Can do. Level that up. Discard a card. You stopped. Oh no, the localization has been long since done, actually. Crusher. I'd get rid of one of those. You may cast a spell again. No, I only went one. No, actually, I don't want. Uh, no. It's your turn. Nice. You received a reward. Good luck on your next journey. I will put him here. So sixty. So the most I'd have to do is a hundred. Um. Yep. Most I can do right now is hundred and ten. Go get some sleep, um, and Furby. Old Furby! You've stopped in your own territory. I will level you up as well. Ring of the Succubus. It's Not turn. entirely fun. Discard a card. All right, I'm going to discard. Mass Phantasm. Aim for the next fort. You've stopped in your own territory. Open you up. Uh, yes. Coldcept is getting an... Well, Coldcept in America, or North America, EU, and Australia. Spirit Walk. <laughs> Give me Spirit Walk, thanks. Are getting an eShop release. Good, he got rid of that card. It's your turn. Place down one of my three magma avatars. Squeeze. See, so squeeze that, just get 150. Are you brilliant? Land drain. Give me your mana. I'm thinking about getting an eShop one as well. 
but I don't know. I have the limited edition on pre-order, and when it comes out, I will be doing the unboxing of that. Alright, so this thing at max is going to be a 90, or a, a 50-90. Wait, what do I own? One, two... I think with just one Magma Avatar and nothing else, I think I have it. Let's see. Magma Avatar versus Tao Tien. Prepare for battle. Doing good so far. You know, Magma Avatar, its strength and HP equals 15 times each fire and earth line you control. I don't think you have neutral. No. Draw two cards. Wind of hope. Discard a card. For my vanishing ray? And I'm not going to place anything because I might need my shield for something. Eh, he didn't want to. He purposely moved here because he didn't want to go that way. Just kind of funny. It's your turn. Discard a card. All right, I'm going to place something right here. Let's gain. Eh, that's a waste right now. I would only gain 200, and I can actually make it gain me 300 soon. Let's place down the other jack o' lantern, and then I can start transforming these into uh, earth lands to get more bonuses. Yes. You received a reward. Good luck on the peak start in your own. Okay. Territory. Aim for the castle. It's your turn. Discard a card. I'm going to discard you. I'm actually going to use Fairy Light. Remember, every every round I gain number of cards in hand times ten in magic. I'm going to be getting quite a bit of magic on this this Ooh. round. For the next board. I'm not going to play him yet. I'm saving it for the big land at the bottom. You've stopped in enemy territory. So you're gonna neutralize. Silk versus Jack o Lantern. And you have an item. Prepare for battle. Okay, so you can do 40 damage. Plus that. So you can do 70. Is it worth using the shield? So this is tricky. I mean, I could use the shield and keep Jack-O-Lantern alive. Or not use the shield and give him the land. I'm not going to use it. 
I would steal mana from him, but... I'm gonna save that for any of my bigger lands. I don't want to waste it on a level 1 right now. The offense vanquished the enemy. It's your turn. Backward. You shall not lap. That's my base strength equals zero, which means Magma Avatar should break through that. I've actually never fought it, so I don't know. Thing. Follow the guidance of. All right, I'm gonna take an item to prepare. here. my armor just in case. Because that's not base strength, so you shouldn't touch it. Didn't think so. She got obliterated. So far, we are doing pretty good. Discard a card. Aim for the next port. You've stopped in your own territory. It's your turn. Holy Word 2. Make you land on him. 
follow the guidance of the cards. A light up. You don't have a way to get past it. You have to land on it. Let's see what you do. Meagle versus Magma Avatar. Prepare for you can penetrate grain. And you can critical hit it. Okay, so you're gonna do about a hundred no, you're gonna do Yeah, about a hundred and five. Without armor, I'd be fine, but... I'll just block everything. Oh, you didn't use the card. Give up some of your stuff, buddy. It's your turn. Wind of hope. Aim for the castle. It's your turn. Discard a card. Steal some more magic from you. You stopped in enemy territory. You're going to neutralize that anyway. So I'm not even gonna bother. Discard a card. Aim for the castle. It's your turn. And that should be it. You received a reward. You have achieved the goal. Saying anything good. Well, I did get another necromancer. Oh, and conspiracy. Yes! In between my last stream, I've been farming to get four of these and four of these for days. Alright, that is magma. It literally just uses magma avatar and um, magma armor and the sheer number of fire and green creatures and the ones that are double counted like crimson vine the jack-o'-lanterns and magma avatars <laughs> <laughs>